welcome to another gauge demo from pipgauges.com. So in this video we're going to take a look at my Airbus A320 Neo engines gauge. So let's get started. Now in this gauge the S buttons mostly are not used with the exception of the S6 button which will toggle the background color from black and blue. Now this is linked with other gauges so all my gauges will change between the black and blue schemes. Um, that's the glass ones. The left dial is just used for the menu control and the right dial is also to activate the menu. So the little blue mini menu LEDs down here on the bottom right hand side of the gauge which indicates the right dial activates the menu. So we'll spin the menu and then we get the first menu item come up here. So we've got the virtual power is good message to indicate that we're getting decent voltage. Now if you have your gauge in this state where you have just the border that basically means the gauge is powered down the um, virtual power within the gauge is not detecting enough voltage so it's not firing it up now I've just increased the minimum voltage to 31 volts which the aircraft can't output so the gauge will automatically go blank because the minimum voltage is way above um, the actual voltage coming out by the aircraft so I'm just going to tune that down a bit take it down to 24 volts and the gauge will just pop to life. Now when you're in the menu this little indicator here the virtual power will tell you whether the power is good or not so if I ramp the voltage minimum up again it virtual power goes off and put it back down again virtual power comes back on again so that's an indicator whether you're actually getting power from the aircraft or not. So this is also the actual version and info page so you can activate that by just turning the left dial and the info page will pop up. Turn that off left dial come over to the next menu option and we've got the glass reflections. Now the glass reflections can be just toggled on and off. You've got the background colour so in case you wanted to reprogram the S6 to do something else you can activate the background colour using the left dial. The next one is the brightness control. Now this is just the brightness on all physical FIPS. You won't see anything change on the virtual FIP that this demo is running on. And that's it for the menus. Okay, so on the main gauge itself, we have the amount of fuel on board, FOB, and that's in kilos. We also have the N1 displays for both left and right engines, the engine gas temperatures, the N2, and the fuel flow, all looking very similar to the actual um, aircraft engine output itself. So I'm just going to pump the engines up so you can see the uh, engine needles moving and reacting to my throttle controls. Also in the bottom right hand corner we have an indicator for the flap position so as I drop the flaps you can see the indicators will reflect the indent position of my flaps. Full flaps. Okay so I'm also going to cut the engine power to idle. So let's cut the engines so as the engines drop and the engines power down everything goes orange so it's an indication that obviously the engines are all completely dead. Okay so when the engines are completely off then you can see that uh, the graphics changes to indicate that all the engines are down and dead. Okay so let's just fire the engines back up again and you can see the startup sequencing running. Let's bring in some ambient noise from the engines. It takes a little while to run the engines up, so I'm just going to leave that for a moment while that does that. Now I believe this gauge does work fine on the fly-by wire, um, and if it doesn't for any reason whatsoever, then please let me know. Uh, fly-by wire does use a lot of local variables, um, and while I'm not aware that there is is any breakage on the fly-by-wire it's entirely possible that it may behave differently so please do give me a shout because I will make it fly-by-wire compatible if there are any problems. I'm just going to ramp up the throttles. You've also got the throttle position indication as well in the top right hand corner which matches the Airbus Now these little green lines that move with the joysticks, they took ages to program. 
Um, not 100% accurate, but you know, close enough. Okay, so one minor last thing. Unfortunately, the decimal point values, they won't change. Uh, there's a little bug in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and if I try and output these, then the whole thing slows down and lags behind. So I've had to take out the decimals. So I'm showing it with a 0, .0, but um, that doesn't actually increment like it does on the um, aircraft, unfortunately. Um, if I was to add it, then it would be um, terrible, and uh, I would just get lots of complaints about it, not actually showing the correct values. So you would find that sometimes it can be literally 1 or 2 or even 3% out from the actual aircraft number, so it's just not worth having this inaccurate for the sake of adding in the decimal, just in case anybody was wondering about that. Okay, so that pretty much covers this gauge, so I hope you found this demo tutorial useful. If you haven't uh, subscribed, please do so, and don't forget to come back and check out some of our other videos as well. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.